Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Brianna. And for today's activity, the first thing we're gonna do is read this book. Um, well, it's not really reading. We're just going to be going over signs, but it is called I Read Signs. So we're gonna be going over signs in our community that we see. Um, some of them may be familiar, some of them may be new, um, but yeah, we're gonna be going over our signs. Let's get started. So the first sign we have, we usually see at a restaurant or at stores, and it says, come on in, we're open. So the first sign labeled with white says walk, and the second one labeled with red says don't walk. So this is usually a sign we see when crossing the street, and we usually have to push the button before we cross. This sign tells us the speed limit of how fast or how slow we should be going. This sign that starts with a P tells us that there's a playground. This sign that is black with white lettering says beware of dog, which lets us know that that home may have a dog. This sign says do not enter, exit only which means we must go around and enter a different way. So I know a lot of us see this in our community. Can you tell me what this one is? It says railroad crossing. That lets us know that there's a railroad ahead and a train that may be coming. This is another familiar sign. Um, this says danger keep out. This means that we cannot enter or mess with anything that is inside the place because it is dangerous and we need to keep safe. And I'm sure we've all seen this when we walk or drive. This is our stop sign. This sign is always next to the street stop lights. This says no left turn. So that means you must go straight or turn another way. This helps keep us safe and preventing any car accidents. Now this is a familiar sign. It says exit. Let me know where you've seen an exit sign. This sign says pitch in with a person and a garbage can. Tell me what do you think this sign means? This sign says people working. Um, this lets us know that we need to drive slower and be careful of those working on the road when we are driving. This sign says bump. This helps us know that there's a bump in the road and we may need to slow down. This black sign with orange arrow says detour. This means that we may have to take a different route that may be longer when we're driving. This sign says bike route, so this helps the bikelists know um, where they may ride their bikes. This sign shows children playing, and it says caution, watch for children. This means we need to be careful. Um, this is usually for drivers, and you may see this around a playground or even in your neighborhood. This sign that starts with a D says dead end, which means the road ends. So the green sign to the left says pull to open and the one on the right that is white says push. That lets us know how to open the door. And our last sign for the book is says, sorry, we're closed. Okay, boys and girls. So now that we are all done with the safety signs book, um, the next part of our activity is going to be making our safety signs on popsicle sticks. So what you will need is this sheet that has our signs, um, they're in your baggies, and you will need all nine popsicle sticks because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine signs. So the signs, the popsicle sticks, scissors, and any kind of glue that you have at home. All right, so what we will be doing is using our scissors. Remember, we put our thumb into the little hole and the rest of our fingers into the big hole. Open, close. So we will be using our scissors to cut out all the shapes. So I'm going to do that. 
and then you can do it too and then I'll be right back. So now that we are all done cutting out our um, signs, we are now going to use our glue and popsicle stick. Um, you can either use this glue or you can use um, a glue stick. Any type of glue is fine. So we're going to glue our signs onto each popsicle stick. So we're gonna take the glue that we have, just put a little bit at the tip, the top. And just a little bit, we don't need too much glue. And we are going to glue it to our sign. So now that I'm done gluing it, I have the sign on top of my popsicle stick. It should look like this. And I'm gonna put it flat down like this so no glue touches my table. And now I'm going to finish gluing my signs onto each of my popsicle sticks. And then I'll be back. Now that I am all done gluing my signs to my popsicle sticks and they're all dry, we will be going over a few. And then I'm going to have you message me on Learning Genie and telling me what the rest are based off our book and based off what based off what you have seen in our community. So the first one I will be helping you with is this one. So it has an R, an X, and an R. Do you guys know where you usually see this one in our community? Hmm. Where do we see this one? This one we usually see at the railroad tracks. So this one lets us know that there's a railroad up ahead and the railroad sign um, lets us know that sometimes we may need to stop for a train to pass. So this is our railroad sign that we see in our community. The next one we have is this one. And this one we usually see maybe um, in front of our school. We have one in front of our school and it's yellow. So what do you think this sign means? So this sign usually lets us know that there's a pedestrian. So there's a walkway for them and we have to be careful. Make sure um, as drivers, we look left and right to make sure there's no pedestrians walking. This sign with our letter H is usually the color blue and it means that there's a hospital. So usually when you're driving and you see this sign that it's usually colored blue with the H, that means there's a hospital nearby. And the last one we have is danger up here and poison. So this lets us know not to drink something or not to come um, in contact with. So this sign helps keeps us safe. And for the next signs, we have this one. I would like you to tell me when, when you see this sign or where you see this sign with the person and what it means. I also want you to tell me on Learning Genie, this sign, it's usually red and it's a hand where do you see this sign and what does it mean? Also, this sign we seen in the book, um, I would, and it has numbers on it. I would like you to tell me what this sign means with the numbers. Also, I would like you to tell me what this sign means. We went over it in the book. If you don't remember, you can re rewind the video and let me know. And the last sign I want you to tell me what it means is this one. So send us pictures um, or videos with you with your sign and tell us what it means on Learning Genie. And I can't wait to see them. Bye.